44 News is tracking the community's reaction. 44 News reporter Valerie Lyons joins us live tonight with a look at where some of our local leaders stand on the impeachment of the president. Good evening, Jessica. Well, today, many leaders talked about the divide in America, one that has only seemed to widen in recent weeks. And while both sides of the aisle agree common ground needs to be found, they don't agree on the path to unity. I think it's entirely appropriate to do so, uh, and I think it's a nonpartisan exercise. The chair of the Henderson County Democrats, one of many local leaders who watched anxiously as House lawmakers made the historic decision to impeach President Trump for a second time. Trump has shown himself by his lack of leadership and by inciting people to go to the Capitol and fight, has shown himself, in my opinion, to be the lowest man in the presidential universe. But were the tri-state's elected officials among the 229 votes that passed the article of impeachment? Indiana's 8th District Representative Larry Bouchon voting no. He tweeted early Wednesday, Democrats proceeding with a partisan impeachment is both divisive and honestly dangerous. Kentucky's 1st District Representative James Comer and 2nd District Representative Brett Guthrie both against. Guthrie saying he didn't want to rush to impeach the president. Comer calling it a political Stunt. Now they have an opportunity in a new administration, and they're they're still talking about impeachment, even with less than 10 days left in the presidency, at a time when America is so deeply divided, and we desperately need to turn the temperature down. Finally, Representative Mary Miller, serving Illinois' 15th district, also voting against, saying in an official statement, "I will oppose any article set forth to impeach our president, and pray for the immediate peace we need." And with the measure passed, it's off to the. Senate for a final decision, but no matter the outcome. We play by the rules here, uh, and we, we obey the rules, we follow the rules, and we revere the rules. So if the Senate votes not to convict, uh, I will not like it, but I will accept it and move on as I hope all Americans will. Now, I did reach out to several local Republican organizations, including the Vanderburg and Henderson County Republican parties, though I wasn't able to receive a comment from either. Reporting live in Evansville, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.